Okay, question five. And it's a doozy of a question, I have to say. You'll notice I've got a huge pile of data on the, the right-hand side here. Okay, so a simple model of an atom is shown. You've got the nucleus of the subatomic particles, proton, electron, neutron. We've used that since first year. Okay, this simplistic model can be used to help explain bonding, but it's also misleading as the structure of the atom and bonding are more complicated. Using your knowledge of chemistry, discuss the strengths and weaknesses of this simple model compared to the concepts of atomic structure and bonding at advanced higher level. Now, where you go with this is obviously there's there's lots of ways you could go um, because how you set this up is going to be very specific to you. So what I've done is I've pulled from, from this side. What I've got here is basically everything about the atomic structure and bonding in the content statements. So for a start, I think you do have to say that the electrons are not actually being shown in the way that we would expect them to be shown because we're not talking about orbitals here. What you have is shells. So that's an issue, okay? But it does show the shells, and that tells you that you're still looking at only the outer electrons in the bonding, and that's still a strength to this particular model. Okay, we've got different shapes of orbitals, and I probably would go down that route because, again, this is only showing the shell, and it isn't showing the orbital sets, like your SPD. Um, and I don't know that we need to go into talking about the electrons having fixed amount of energy but you probably do want to talk about um, your poly exclusion and um, talking about the quantum numbers um, all the way down okay and then the arrangement so you've got Aufbauhund and poly as ways that actually this model doesn't show doesn't explain anything to do with that now once you've gone on about this and that's just the arrangement um, you then need to, that's, so this is the atomic structure, you need to then go into bonding. So bonding means that you then need to talk about how you pair. Now, I'm not entirely sure that I've pulled enough of the information for this one, to be honest. Um, I've got, yeah, okay. Okay, because when they pair, you're going to talk about electron shell pair repulsion. And then you can talk about the shapes that you would then have round about them and the shapes of molecules. And so all of this could be brought into it, but it is this whole holistic way of looking at your answer. So your answer is either going to be what's considered poor, um, you've not really shown an understanding of it, or up to excellent, you get all three marks. But you don't have to say everything, you just have to say enough to show that you really understand what's going on. So you're going to have to be quite clear that you don't start waffling, because you'll notice that I've started doing that, um, but you are actually keeping track to this particular statement that it's about the atomic structure and the bonding okay so i would personally start with what's good about that model now i would start with the strengths and then i would move on to the weaknesses so i would start with the strengths being the fact it shows the shells the fact that it's very clear that we have a nucleus which has got a different set of, of particles than the orbit and then discuss the weaknesses in terms of we don't have orbitals, they're not really explaining or showing what's going on with electrons, um, and then we've not got any real information about the quantum numbers, and then go on to, to what those are, and then talk about the arrangements that you would then get when you get pairing happening. If you want to, you could go on to, to shapes of, of structures. Um, you could also talk about ionics, um, but I think that's starting to stretch it. This is still just about the model of this atomic structure. So, yeah, it's a toughie. I don't particularly like it as a question. Well, it's a good question, but it's a hard question.